sharks, deadly ancient predators at the top of the food chain. Or so one might think. Although there are many species of sharks considered to be apex predators in the traditional sense, all of these species you're probably thinking of have predators and are frequently preyed upon, which is contradicting the term apex predator. In this short video, I will show you a few instances where these incredible creatures are themselves put on the menu. Since the shark family tree is so vast, I won't be talking too much about the many much smaller sharks, as it's not too surprising that they're far from untouchable. But I will mention the more interesting and surprising instances that you might not know about. So, without further ado, let's dive into it. I'm sorry about that. Sea lions. Ask anyone what a shark eats, and the odds are they'll tell you seals and sea lions, and they'd be right in some instances. Unfortunately for the leopard shark and thresher shark, the tables are flipped. Here we see a sea lion happily tearing into an unfortunate shark. Even a distant relative of the great white is on the menu for these 350 kilogram males. These gracefully aquatic animals are accomplished predators not too distantly related to bears, both belonging to the suborder of carnivora, Octoideae, so it's not a surprise that they can eat like one. Giant octopus. Ironically, giant Pacific octopuses aren't typically all that big, averaging 15 kilograms. They get their name from the record-breaking 71 kilo individual that was found many years ago, and other larger individuals have not been 100% confirmed yet. Despite their somewhat misleading name, they're very smart and, again, excellent predators. Usually they go after smaller creatures like lobsters, crabs, and clams, but as one aquarium found out, they're able to tackle much larger prey. Putting spiny dogfish sharks in the same massive aquarium as an octopus may not sound wise. At the time, they were worried that the sharks may eat the octopus, as this does occur in the wild sometimes. But, as it turns out, the clever cephalopod had other ideas. Wrapping up a shark in its tentacles and tearing away their flesh with its razor-sharp beak. Crocodiles. What better animal to rival the apparent king of the water than the saltwater crocodile? These behemoths are the largest reptiles alive today, and have been known to reach up to 2,000 kilograms. Although, due to persecution by humans, animals this size are incredibly rare. The biggest animals found in the wild today only reach around half that size, but are still more than capable of taking down even large sharks. In Australia, it's a fairly common sight to see these titans chowing down on bull sharks that venture upriver. But sometimes, when the crocodiles are feeling particularly peckish, they chow down on the big boys. Tiger shark remains have been found numerous times in crocodiles' stomachs, effectively being one of the only two animals that do this regularly. The others being the orca whale, the wolves of the sea. Also called killer whales, orca are accomplished shark killers, as well as being pretty damn good killers of almost anything in the ocean. These pod-dwelling animals use their great size, intelligence, and numbers to even take down whales. When dealing with sharks, an individual need just ram into it with its immense bulk to stun it, and then hold it upside down in tonic immobility until the animal suffocates. As well as feeding on tiger sharks, orca whales have officially dethroned the great white as apex predator in its ranges, choosing in many cases to only consume the white's liver before moving on. The mere presence of a killer whale in the area is enough to make great whites flee to new territories entirely. Such an incredible predator demands respect. Even with this unparalleled prowess in the water, they have never attacked a human outside of captivity. We've had sea lion versus thresher shark, giant octopus versus spiny dogfish, and crocodile versus many sharks, orca whales versus pretty much everything. Now, what shark remains? Well, it's the big boy. The biggest boy, in fact. Now, what of the largest shark in the ocean? The relatively peaceful whale shark. Well, apart from smaller individuals being taken by the aforementioned orcas, Nothing really hunts fully grown adults. 
Being the largest fish alive today has the added benefit of making them relatively untouchable. Although not as vicious a predator as its smaller cousins, it's still a predator in its own right, feeding on a range of lesser creatures from krill to small tuna. It seems that these most docile and gentle of sharks may be the only true top predatory sharks in the ocean. You know what they say, size isn't everything, but it sure does help. Thanks for watching, and remember, in a world this big, there's always something more to see. No way. Upon doing further research, I found that great whites may actually predate on adult whale sharks. But it's unconfirmed. So, I'm sticking to what I previously said. Goodbye!